I would say if women are 50%, 51% actually of the population and they have equal intelligence, which the data says women absolutely do, um, and they have equal competence, which the data says they absolutely do. And by the way, they have equal leadership ability, which the data and the research says they at least absolutely do. Then it cannot possibly be right that over nine times out of 10, a man is the best candidate. It, it simply, let's say for the sake of argument, five times out of 10, the man's the best candidate and the other five times the woman's the best candidate. So, so the real question is actually, what happened? What happens to to those five times out of ten women? Where did all those brilliant and talented and intelligent and competent women go in that decision? And why do we? And it's not just men, by the way. Why do we so often believe that the man is better and stronger and the stronger performer, even in those instances when he isn't? Sometimes he is, even in the instances when he isn't. And that's obviously a much more difficult question to answer 